Page 45, Cops and Robbers. At the top of the page, they have that 8VA sign again. This is not like the previous one, the one we had on the previous page there, on page 44. They're different. The 8VA part is the same. It's the dashed line. This is where the 8VA is under the staff. Look at the bottom, last line here on and third major over. You see the 8VA under the bottom staff? Well, in the second measure, you have an AVA above the staff. They're different. They mo both mean you're going to move an octave. That's fine. It's the direction you're going to go. If the AVA is above the staff, you go up an octave. If the AVA is below the staff, you go down an octave. Sometimes the AVA will actually be a, an 8VB, B for base. It's not important. You know, you know, I'm just warning you, you might see it sometimes. Oh, it's an 8VB though. What's that? It's the same as an 8VA. Don't worry about it. But it'll be under the staff. You won't see an 8VB above the staff, I don't think. Doesn't make any sense. So that's the idea. You go up or down, whichever one. So in that last line, in the second measure, the notes are written here. But you're going to play them an octave higher because the 8VA is above it. So you're going to come up here. Then in the third measure, the notes are written here, but with the 8 VA under it, you're going to go down an octave and play it here. Now, if you have a short keyboard and you don't have those notes, you just play the lowest notes you have, and that's close enough. Don't worry about it. What is important here is you understand what it means. Also, while I'm on the subject of new stuff, at the bottom of the page, there's a note about the repeat signs. You see the last line, there's a repeat sign at the beginning and a repeat sign at the end. The repeat sign at the beginning is pointing the other direction. We call it a reverse repeat sign or a backwards repeat sign. I don't care what you call it. The point is, is that typically with a repeat sign, you'd repeat back to the beginning and play it all again. Well, this is where you don't. If there's a reverse repeat sign, you repeat back to the last reverse repeat sign because there could be more than one. So here it simply means you're going to play the last line twice. You're going to repeat the last line only. So this is where it's different from a DC. A DC means go back to the beginning. End of discussion, no questions, no ifs, ands, or buts about it, you go back to the beginning. But a repeat sign, you go back to a reverse repeat sign if there is one. And if there isn't one, then you go back to the beginning. Oh, it's clear as mud? Okay, okay. Uh, and I'll talk more about it when I talk about the roadmap. When did we go where? But right now, let's cover other things here. Treble and bass clef, no sharps or flats in the key signature when the key is C, more or less. you got 4-4 four, four time, four beats in a major, quarter note gets count on, whatever. Let's check one hand at a time, get the notes and the rhythms here. You're starting here. And we got these accidentals. These accidentals are the flats and sharps that are stuck in the music. They're called accidentals. Not accidents, accidentals, because they're temporary. So it's one and two and. And I'm going to use the third finger because it's on E here. Again, one and two and three and four and. One and two and three, four, and then an F sharp. Two, two, and three, and four, and one, and. Isn't that fun? Go down to the last line. The notes are here in the second measure. It's here, and then an F sharp here, and an E flat. Just reach down a little bit here. But it has the AVA, so we got to come up here. And then in the last measure, you're back down here, same notes down here. All quarter notes though. Left hand, well it's a C and a G, but it's on beat two. One and two and three and four and one and two and isn't this fun? One and two and an E flat, F sharp. Rest and reach out, it's an octave, but stay here. Because after you're done, you're going to collapse back up here. Because the next notes coming are that. So, 
as I said, whether you collapse here, move down, or stay here, or come back, or what you do here, depends on the notes coming up. Since we're here, and the next note is here, we're, we're going to collapse back up during the rest. Second line. Yeah, the first couple of measures are fine. Go to the third measure in the second line. You're here. Enough natural now. E flat. So it's a one, two, three, four, one, rest. And then that second A has an 8 V8 under it. There's no dice line. This is where I'm saying an 8 V8 may or may not have a dice line. If it only applies to one note, there's no dice line. So it's for the second A. It's an octave lower. Come down here. You have to move here. You just move. You have a rest. You got time. Last line. Then you come back up here. B flat, C sharp. And then during the rest, you have that 8 VA under it. You're going to come down here. And when you repeat it, you got to come back up here to play this one again. It's just my point is in this piece, after you play down here, come back up here. Come back up here. I mean, actually, it depends on where you're at. Because your left hand started here, and then in the last in the last line is down here. I mean, you, we're moving around. Did you notice that? I don't know. Let's watch out. See, this is where you have to look down at the keyboard because you have all these big movements you have to make. You gotta look down to see where they are. But otherwise, you shouldn't have to look at the keyboard. It's like on these accidentals at the beginning. You shouldn't have to look at the keyboard to see where E flat is. You should be able to feel an E flat where it is based on where your hand is. You need to develop that feel as well as developing a million other things too. I know. Put the hands together. And again, I'm playing everything connected I can here, except for the rest. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and rest and so forth. Go over to the second line, third measure. You're here. One and two and three. One, two, three. Rest. Then your left hand comes up here. So you're ready to go on. Last line. Right hand's up here. And then left hand's down here. Left, right hand's down here. And then the left hand's up here to repeat. I mean, each time you're playing, you're moving around. That's kind of fun. Isn't it? Oh, it's fun if you like to move around. Once you can do that, then get rid of the hesitation so it's a steady beat all the way through. And we can add the articulation. Again, a slurring and a nice light wrist staccato. And you have an accent there in the last measure. Give them a little extra oomph. With both hands are accented. Accents again. Put in all the slurs and accents and staccatos. That's fine. And then the dynamics. Well, it applies to the melody, but there's a lot of other stuff going on here. For instance, we have accompaniment with these chords. That's, keep those in the background. But when you have the, these other quarter notes in the left hand, or some moving quarter note, you can bring those out a little bit. It's like a counter melody, you can bring it out. It's not really the melody, but you can play them a little louder. And the last line, both hands are melody. You play it all about the same. So it starts out P for soft, that's the melody. What, what do you think soft is? Then the left hand has to be very soft. And in the third measure, all of a sudden you're loud. And the left hand can come up a little bit because you're going to crescendo up. Okay. Make each one a little louder. And then the right hand is, is like very loud. 
Start this about moderately soft and go up to loud. There. So, uh, th so this, that's very loud. And then you're soft again. And loud. And then start medium soft and get louder. Last line. You start soft and go up to loud. So it's each note's getting a little louder. Same thing. But the last measure there, it's moderately soft. Going down to soft. So it's not loud this time. And you repeat it, you're soft. And you go down and then you know, so watch out, that last measure isn't loud like you think it is. Speed-wise, well, it's mysteriously. How fast is that? I have no idea. It's just mysterious. It's just to... To me, that's... Make it sound mysterious. You're sneaking around. Oh. Now, roadmap. Let's look at this. As I've already said, you have the repeat signs in the last line. You're going to play the last line twice. And there's a DC Alfini at the end of the last line. So after you played the last line twice, then you go back to the beginning. The DC means go to the beginning. And Alfine is at the Fine is at the end of the second line. It simply means you're going to go back and play the first two lines again. That's all. And you always do the DC after you do the repeats. The repeats come first. Because if you did the DC first, you'd never get to repeat because you only you don't play this line again after the DC. Does that make sense? No. Be careful because there's kind of a trap in here. I don't want you to fall into it. When you start playing loud, you're using a lot of weight because you're pushing the notes down very quickly. Don't try and use a lot of muscle to do it. Just push them down quickly and stay relaxed. Relaxed muscles move much faster than tense muscles. It's just the way we're built. So stay relaxed and just let the note go down quickly. I'm using a little finger. It doesn't matter what finger it is. Just relax. And always let the wrist collapse. Don't play with a stiff. Don't play. That that gives a harsh tone. Just let the let let the wrist collapse a little bit. Here you're kind of whipping it down. So on these loud notes, that's where you want to do it. Like at the end of the first line when you're doing that, it's that both hands are doing that like that. So be careful on that. I'd like to play it with you slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do the dynamics, but we will do the repeat and the DC and all that and the staccatos and slurs. So I'll give us four counts. Let's just play it very slowly together. One, two, ready, go. One and two. to the beginning
rest, rest.